Welcome back to Marvel Puzzle Quest with me, P.I. McLeod, as we inch ever so closer, less than a month away, before the actual, well, my, my actual nine-year anniversary with MPQ. Kind of ridiculous. We're getting there. What are we here for today? Unstable ISO 8. We need to finish it off. Um, if you haven't noticed so far, if you've been following along, it, um... It doesn't have a lot of uh, text in it, right? You saw day one, hopefully. There was a little bit of verbiage in there. A little bit to read in the uh, unstable isolate main nodes like these. But once you get into the side nodes, like Arctic Circle and Mediterranean, there's little to none. They don't have a lot of story in them. Um, once upon a time, unstable isolate used to have more storyline in it. There was more going on. They, um, there was a transition in how they ran and, and made these stories at one point. And uh, uh, this one was repurposed to have Peggy Carter in lead instead of Captain America. Uh, you know, Steve Rogers, Captain America, I guess I should say. And, um, and some of the repurposing also stripped some of the other things away. Um, I'm not going to dive into all the little details of it, because honestly, I can't remember every single little point of it. But, it's enough to where an old-timer like myself remembers. Uh, one second here. There we go. I'll take care of a side business here. There we go. Let's go. Switching teams, the Dark Avengers have located a massive ice white meteorite in Siberia. Um, let's see if my voice cooperates with me right now. Everything's fine, don't worry, health-wise. It's just kind of had a long day, and um, it's late. And I'm drinking some uh, some Pepsi right now, you know, because uh, I need the energy. And let's hope it doesn't mess in my throat. I don't think it will, but... Whatever, let's do it. Oh yeah, Miguel has uh, PvP right now. Forgot I had him out there. As I did previously, let's just get through it. Because we're trying to get to the storyline points of the actual, you know, the main uh, day three nodes. You know what I'm saying. Okay, so let's see. I did this before and I used Hulkling. And then last time I used... God, who did I use last time? I don't remember who I used. Well, you know what? I'll just do this. This right here is actually pretty fun, too. You wouldn't believe it, but it is. First off, throw some team up AP, some red and yellow, and let's go. At a secret shield meeting location. You know, what is it not secret? Cap, get a team to Russia. Osborne has deployed, all, uh, deployed, hmm, has deployed all of the Dark Avengers to a meteorite impact site in Siberia. Satellite readings indicate a very large red isolate deposit at that location. He sent all of them? Good. Saves us legwork. That it does. Also, we've got a little surprise for them. Hey, nerds. Hmm? Fury, take cover! Power down, Iron Man. After your run-in with Juggernaut and Venom, I saw an opportunity for a little psyops. We found a Juggernaut dodging Venom up in the Arctic, and we brought him in. It's colder up there than your mom. <laughs> Sorry, it's colder than your mom up there. <laughs> Seems Juggernaut doesn't think Osborne has his best interests at heart. He's on our side now? Can we trust him? As long as I get to plaster Osborne's pet heroes, I'm all yours. I'll believe it when I see it. Take Juggernaut to Russia with you and unleash him on the Dark Avengers. Meanwhile, we're just not going to use Juggernaut at all right now. I could have used him for some of this stuff, couldn't I? Maybe some of the upcoming notes. Yeah, we'll, we'll say that.
Uh, okay, here's a chance to see it flex. Up, oh, yellow match. You're dead. Up, oh, that matched again. You're dead. <laughs> Matching his fun th three colors. You know. Uh, where's that? When a friendly hero makes a black, blue, or yellow match. Which is kind of funny because Immortal Hulk and Okoye are both both heroes. And they're both tanking for Miguel. So then you get the extra damage and the web tiles. And that extra damage is obviously boosted by Okoye. It's a fun little thing. So we're just going to figure... You know, just finish her off right now. Should we do this? Mm, yeah, it's a waste of team up right now. We'll just do this. <clears throat> Juggernaut, I knew you weren't too smart, but this is dumb even for you. You think S.H.I.E.L.D. can protect you from Osborne? You are dead man. Come a little closer, baby. I'll show you what I think of Osborne. Offensive and stupid. Winning combination. Bullseye, we're inbound on your location. Later, chumps. We were just leaving. Juggernaut, we're not done with you yet. Bank on it. You tell Osborne I'm coming after him. I'll keep smashing until I bring his precious tower down with him in it. Hey, that's still my house you're talking about there. Fury, we broke up the Dark Avengers party. They evacuated the area in what looked like a modified Quinjet. They must be repurposing old shield equipment. Hmm, only half of the red ISO-8 is here. Readings indicated nearly 200 kilos on site. I'm also picking up trace particulate matter in the air. Speak English, Doc. Dust. He means dust. ISO-8 dust, to be exact. It looks like they extracted a good 100 kilos from the meteorite. Before we so rudely interrupted them. Then you're not done. Pursue and retrieve that ISO-8 at all costs. Yes, sir. We're on it. Um, don't you like how after every patch they ask you to review them again? I, I'm, I'm good. I think I've reviewed, reviewed this game, I don't know, at least... I want to say double-digit times. I think so. I could be wrong. Anyways. Follow-up visit. The team has tracked the Dark Avengers to an abandoned military facility in Russia. Follow them there and retrieve the unstable ISO-8. Um... Let's do that thing I said I was going to do. Do this, but we'll replace Polaris with a little more fragile version of the team, but it can still be fun. Kitty, Jugs, and Rocket. You know what Kitty and Rocket do, and Jugs has his passive. And, you know, whenever he makes a match, he deals damage to the enemy team. Well, it just so happens that Kitty doesn't take green or blue damage. I mean, she doesn't have those colors. Uh, Jugs does. Uh, Rocket does as well. Rockets is at 125 for blue. Um, Jugs is only at 84. Jugs is at 110 for green. Rockets at 125. Oh, I'm sorry, at 96. So he's got the green. He just doesn't have the blue. And you can fix that with supports. Um, let's just make sure what I'm doing again. I'm fixing the blue damage. Hmm. There's a lot. Of, there's a couple different people that have different supports I should say to have blue on it <sighs> too bad I can't use wasps gauntlets they don't really have much of a other use tinkerer nope someone has blue stop for oh that's purple oh that's funny it, it's almost enough purple to actually if it wasn't for kitty that purple would be enough to take it over um where's blue Blue damage is around here somewhere, right? Atlantis is green, I think. It's green AP. Um, oh, no. Is there not a blue damager in here? Not that I have. At least not for... Oh, there we go. Could put this on him. The Blackbird. I mean, it was on a bishop, but I don't really... I'm not really using him right now. So, 
I think that'll be the the thing I do. Craven. Oh, Craven. Look at that. 322. That's definitely blue. Alright. Not like really doing much on Craven. I mean, <laughs> it barely does anything extra on him worth noticing. So I think I think that'll be good. Cool. So yeah, he definitely takes blue now at 406. So yeah. And he's got the green at let's see, 110 versus 96. Um, wait, how much is Kitty's? Oh, yeah, never mind. I was looking at the red, like, yeah, that ain't gonna do it. Um, what other colors could he do? What's his black do? 14. Purple is 30. Purple is Kitty's. Yellow is Kitty's, so they, they ain't gonna go up. But black is 14, huh? I don't think there's anything you can do to do blue and black. Let's just call it what it is. So, okay, let's just go with this. Don't need the support. I need the support. The boost. Let's go. In an abandoned Russian military base. Oh, look, everyone. It's the so-called Dark Avengers. What a coincidence. We were just headed out for a nice team picnic with our new friend Juggernaut. Avengers Assemble. You're going to steal our catchphrase now? Shame on you. How about something more original like Dark Avengers Ho? How about Dark Avengers Hand Over the ISO 8? Cap, did you just make a joke? That's two this month. You're on a roll. Now, like the lady said, hand over the ISO 8. That's not how this works, Stark. Either you and your obsolete buddies... Go crawl into a dark hole and leave us alone. Or we save you the trouble and bury you right here. Your call. I'm making the call. Enough talking. You're going down and then it's Osborne's turn. Um, so obviously we want to hit the things that have Juggernaut's symbol on it. So for example, this green right here. I'm going to get rid of one of my blues on accident, but, you know, it's part of the game. So we're trying to avoid getting rid of our strikes, because once we get rid of them, there's no more fun. But if, as long as we can match our own tiles, we're going to have plenty of fun. You know, the ones with Juggernaut symbol on them. I mean, look at that team damage. It's kind of like uh, a poor man's... Uh, I Hulk Okoye thing. Problem is, you can't keep it going without Juggernaut symbols. You know, you have to keep him flush with things to match. So I don't have enough blue. I don't have enough green out here. So you just got to match something else until you get something matchable. So, you know, oh darn. I guess I'll just match another thing for 10,000. I'll just do that right there. You know, unfortunately, match four is going to kill one of my strikes, but oh well. He just took more of my blue matches, but he's dead now. You know, that worked. Stark to Fury, all the red isoid is accounted for. As an added bonus, the Dark Avengers are on the run, with Juggernaut chasing after them. Good, you can keep them busy while we try to research up the speed on this ISO-8 situation. Preliminary tests on red ISO-8 have yielded unpredictable results. It's the most unstable variant we've seen. I'll take a look at it. If Osborne is this interested, he might know something we don't. Okay, another one of these nodes. Moonstone. Moonstone has appeared in Europe again. She's helping hammer troops guard a large cache of unstable ISO-8. <clears throat> so we did that. Mm. Anything else I could play with for fun? I don't know. Funsies. Funzos. Stuff for funs. I don't know. Should I just get on with it then? I 
was looking at a couple of things um, earlier. You know, Killmonger, for example. It's got this thing, this decisive strike where he adds a trap every turn that the enemies don't fire a power. And I was wondering how good that does alongside... Um, oh, where is he? Wow. Is he really this far down? He can't be this far down. Is he really? Mr. Sinister. There he is. Must have just missed him earlier. Because, you know, Mr. Sinister has this... Was it blue? Creates three trap tiles that deal damage for each friendly trap tile on the board. Including these tiles up to eight. So... You know... I mean, it's just more traps that are out there. You can get more out of this. It only costs eight blue to fire it off. It's actually pretty cheap for something that could be so damaging. I just wish I had more levels in it. I just wonder if it's actually good. I don't know. I was looking at that, kind of wondering if that was a fun thing to do. Anyways, it was just a thought I had in my head. Um, let's probably get away from that right now. Let's go back and just finish off some stuff. Get Okoye, I Hulk, and ooh, who's the next person we're gonna throw in there with them for Funzo? Medusa. She has she has some fun iterations. Of, oh, forgot to boost them. It's okay. We'll be fine. At a secret shield meeting location. Stark to Fury did some digging on the Red Iso Eight. Apparently, it's been around since the Pulse, but in small quantities. Now, something about Earth's atmosphere. Is causing other variants to transform into this one. Also, it's mentioned in a set of classified documents titled Project Evolution. Guess whose servers I filched those documents from? Surprise me. Oscorp. I'm not surprised. All mention of it seems to have disappeared, though, right around the time Osborne took control of S.H.I.E.L.D. So he's continuing the project in some form. Moonstone just popped up in Europe again. How about you track her down and see what she knows? You got it, Hefe. Uh, that's a lot of Hulk symbols, and that's that's not what you're supposed to do with this team. But oh well. So, don't forget, Medusa's damage is power damage on that entanglement tile. So, guess what gets boosted? Well, if I had team up AP to boost it with right now. Um, yeah. You're supposed to remember to put those boosts on. My bad. But, we'll rectify it right here. See, that, that little extra damage just did a lot more. So, honestly, if you don't even have an Eye Hulk, you could totally run, like, Okoye with uh, Polaris and Medusa, and you'd still get a nice output of damage every turn. Doesn't have to be team damage in this case. <clears throat> hey, DC. Evening. What's that? Do you have the new PvE for tomorrow to choose a time yet? Uh, no. I do not have it up yet. I'm thinking... And um, I haven't checked the forums on it yet, but I've been hearing rumor that it might be a boss event tomorrow. So, but we'll find out. Usually it pops up by now, though, if it's a PvE. So, might be true on the boss. So, Dr. Sofen, in your professional opinion, what's Osborne want with all this red ice await? You should know. It's the therapist who asks the questions, Stark. I don't answer them. Wouldn't have anything to do with Project Evolution, would it? Take it up with Osborne. If you got the guts to face him. Okay, you run along and tell him that's exactly what I'm going to do. Stark to Fury, we've got the rest of the ISO 8. And Moons Moonstone is running back home. My home. But she doesn't know anything about Project Evolution. She doesn't know, or she won't say. If she knew, she wouldn't have been able to stop herself from boasting. You know how she is. Also, biometric readings didn't flag any of her responses as untruthful. 
your suit can tell when people are lying? It's a new feature, but I already knew you were driving my cars, Clint. Um, yeah, only for professional reasons. Oh, biometrics flagged that one, but don't worry about it. Osborne is driving them now, and that makes me really mad. Enough with the chit-chat. Use that anger to finish the mission, Stark. Give Hawkeye a hard time later. What's that DC? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I was surprised about. Thanks. Oh, no problem, dude. Anytime. And finally, we get to move on to the Americas, which is the last of Unstable ISO 8 in its current iteration. I remember MPQ. It used to be different. Anyways. <sighs> Hashtag bring back seven day events. Um, let's see. The Americas. Norman Osborn is after rare and highly unstable Red ISO 8. Race across the globe against Hammer Troops and the Dark Avengers to collect this dangerous resource before they can. I guess I should amend my statement. If they did bring back seven day events, doing stories like this over seven days straight would be almost impossible for a working, you know, family man like myself. It's kind of hard doing, you know, setting the time aside constantly. But we do it for the love of the game, right? Gulf Transport. Hammer has been spotted moving Red Ice away via boat in the Gulf of Mexico. Don't you ever wonder what kind of boat it is? It's like a rowboat? A canoe? Kayak? Or is it like a yacht? A shipping barge? What is it? <laughs> Anyways, he's a level 65, so for the next few hits, we're just going to use Thanos and kind of plow through them. Also, tenderizing our half Thor as we go. Go down to the save teams. Um, if you've ever wondered why I only have these teams saved, I mean, there's only six you can save, right? Um, it's because of, well, that these characters are kind of scattered all around the roster. Um... Like these three, for example, you know, they're scattered at different locations, and depending on the boost list, it can be harder to find them. I don't keep any of the one star and two star and three star characters in there because there's only like what eight one star characters, um, was like 14 or 15, some of that two star characters, I can't remember the exact number, uh, 48 um, three star characters. Soon to be 49 because three star Emma Frost is on her way. Anyways, and then like, but four stars, there's like a, a ton of them. There's a ton of them. There's over 100 easily. And I'm just, I'm not even, don't remember the full number. And there's like 73, I want to say five stars. So yeah, I'll keep four stars and five stars in my save teams for that reason. Anyways, that done. So, tenderizing Thor, we're tenderizing Thor. Government raid. Hammer is collecting red ISO-8 from various secret government installations in South America. God, it's nice when they use different words on these, isn't it? We're just getting through these easy ones, tenderizing our Thor. Asgardian gods of thunder like it when we do this. And over here, West Coast Smugglers. The Magia have been spotted trying to collect Red Ice 08 along the west coast of the US, Canada, and Mexico. I like how they said Magia, but um, there's like a hammer person in there too. Not really Magia at that point, is it? I mean, or is it just Magia by proxy? Okay, let's go back over here. We'll keep hammering it out because we got Thor that needs to be hammered out. Meh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't kill them all. No. Oh, good. Court death hit. Sometimes the cascades just kill them all first, and um, I need that court death. I need to be able to actually tenderize the Thor. So... See, like this, it just cascades. Okay, so that one's three hits. Cool. This one needs a couple more. Come on. Well, 
And one more will do it. Thor will be thoroughly tenderized now. Um, this one. Trying not to make a match that would cause too much cascades. I just want the court death to hit him. There we go. Let's move on with it. Remember, one hit of each for the most part. Um, you know, just for streaming purposes. <clears throat> ISO-8 heist. The Maggie are trying to steal several red ISO-8 stashes in South America. So, fun times, right? We're going to go back to fun times. Um, hmm. I was trying to remember what sort of teams I would go through with. Um, kind of lost my mind on some of it. I, I wonder if this team still works. Let me see. I'm kind of curious. This old team that I used to run with sometimes. It was fun. Let's see. Seeing red. Uh, damage for 1,124 damage or more. And I don't think this sort of power, like level 330 guys, can match for that. So, nope. That team wouldn't really work right now. Um... What's the other one that would work? Nope, that wouldn't work either. It would have to be like a boosted three-star Hulk in there for another version of it. Nope, never mind then. Had ideas, they went out the window. Um, what else? What other teams can we play around with? <laughs> What was it? What was it? Uh, Bullseye and Dakin? So, constant protect and strike tiles out there? We could play with that. Let's do like. Um. Nah, we did that last time, didn't we? I was thinking of using something with Drax and Mantis and, and, uh. And, um. Maybe Carnage? I don't know. Nah. Yeah, we did that stuff. Ooh, ooh, I know who. Um, let's throw in one of our favorite peeps, Okoye. Let's go to, back to Four Star Land, and we'll go get... Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. Hello. I know you're in here. Wait. You're in, you're like around here, right? No? Maybe hey, when I just pass him up arbitrarily. Oh, there he is, Morbius. You'd think we all see him easier. Um, and then... Uh, do, 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 do. Could do Rhino. Could be fun. Actually, I wonder if we could double dip. We might be able to double dip this. I think we're going to try. Where are you at? Hello? Um, I'm about to filter. Dang it. Uh, what are your colors? Red. Uh, black. I'm not, I'm blanking on the color. It's red, black, and green. It is green. Sabretooth. There we go. Let's do this. Because they got Dakin on the enemy team. And if we save him for last, we should be able to have fun with the anti-strike fun. I could have put Rhino in as well, I guess. Meh, let's just go. Okay, so Dakin last. Because we want strikes to play with. So if we do something like this... We'll start kicking off the fun. Now, if we can't get to one, we can always use blue tiles to force it to happen. So we have to kind of, you know, take some of that on. Um, I didn't get any team up AP yet, but it's okay. We'll get there. We're double dipping the powers though right now. There's his, there we go. Make more tiles for us. Thank you. Oh, they're both right there. 
Well, they have no use for red, so they're not going to match it themselves. So let's get some team up. Okay, well, now they're going to match it themselves because it's a match four. So I guess I kind of have to take it. gonna make some for you that's sad you probably don't want that uh, we'll just match those and then you know I um, could just do this so it ignores friendly strike tiles but it doesn't say it ignores I don't know Okoye's power set Boop. <laughs> So that's neat. That was fun. I honestly don't use that often enough, but usually I would only I, I would only think to use that if there's an enemy that can make strike tiles on a semi-constant basis. And that's what Dakin does. And Sabretooth helps with that. So, you know, it was fun. You really don't need Okoye in there. I mean, sure, she helps to boost the damage, but just think you can always put in another person to capitalize on making use of enemy matches. So, like, um, you could put in Carnage instead of her to always put enemy tiles out there for Morbius to have fun with. Um, you could put in uh, Rhino, like I stated earlier, because he is... He has the ability to make strikes as well, although his and Sabertooth are both on... Um, wait... I think his are on green. Actually, it might be pretty good. Anyways, I digress. Battle in Brazil. Moonstone just showed up. She must be here to back up those hammer troops. Or these hammer troops. Um, it's Moonstone. There's really nothing fun to have with her there. So, probably just go straight for the throat. I don't know. <laughs> Try not to be so droll and just use four, I mean, five star power teams. Try to do something extra. Oh, this could work. Um, let me do this old team that I like to play with once in a blue moon. We'll go over here, put Valkyrie in. Um, uh, over here, we'll put Nick Fury. You know, stay with me on this. And over here, we put. <sighs> Give me a second. This I need a five star for this, but it's not necessarily what you think. I guess I could use Kamala Khan. Basically, I have to make sure yellow is my strongest color, and it definitely is with Kamala. So why not? It, it's really all that matters on this part. I really don't need anything else but yellow being the strongest color for this to work. So I got to target Pyro. Not the X-Men, you know, the, the Brotherhood mutant guy that we kind of want still. But, you know, that Pyro. Um, and we got to do uh, 4,174 damage, which is another good reason to have a, um, a five-star in there. Because now I can kind of guarantee I'll do that damage real quick and easy. So look at all the yellow AP I already have. Who am I doing now? Moonstone. Phrasing, I know. Um, so... Like this? There you go, that was enough damage. So, yellow's ready. Okay, so that's on Moonstone again. So we'll fire off Fury's Avengers Assemble. Now, if you have it at five, like I do, you're looking at, and it, you saw how quickly we got 11 yellow because of Bounty Hunter, right? So that's the whole point of making yellow your strongest, okay? So Iron Man charged and locked on, Hawkeye aiming to win, Hulk hungry smash, Black Widow set to stun, okay? There's a lot of stuff going on here. In layman's terms, it's damage on the guy in front, I'm sorry, Captain America leads the charge, whatever. Um, uh, you're making protectiles, damage the front guy, make a couple crits, um, board shake with 
with a, a bit of team damage, if I remember what Hulk does in that. And then Black Widow stuns, um, I want to say a random person. It might be the person in front, but it might be random too. So don't hold me to it. But you're going to see it. Boop. Needless to say, two crits out there with a pretty decently powered up five star guy. And you can do this semi often because it costs 10 yellow, but Bounty Hunter is going to make you four yellow per turn because you made sure your five star tank, you know, is, has yellow as their highest color. That's really it. Um, I could move on to someone else, but I won't. I just want to get rid of her. One less person to target for Bounty Hunter. So Grenadier, which would be this guy. Um, I guess we'll go with that. Sure. One yellow off. Who's it on now? Grenadier. We're up to 16 yellow now. Um, who's this on? Grenadier. Poor Grenadier. Here we go. So, yeah, it's kind of a fun little combo. Um, is it meta or anything? No, but it's not bad. It gets the job done pretty quick. As long as you have a decent five star that will um, just provide a strong yellow color. Well, it has to be yellow being the strongest, but like Kitty, for example, is yellow strong. Um, you saw Kamala has yellow strong. Um, I want to say one of the... I think it's like five star, uh, what was it, in, uh, Infinity War, no, uh, Captain, I think. Not the Lumberjack one, the other Captain America. Yeah, whatever. You get my point, though. Make sure it's the guy with yellow is the strongest. Okay, move on down here. Stolen goods. The Maggie are trying to steal several red isoate stashes in South America. Okay. Um... I'm gonna play with something here that is not normal. If only just because we can. Where are you at? Come on. You think I'd see it easier by now. There's just so many characters. And therein lies the problem. Oh, there he is. Spider Ham. Why am I doing this? Well, because he does a thing against, like, goons, and it's fun. It only costs eight purple. Stun all enemy minions, which these are goons, which are min minions, for two turns and remove up to four enemy countdown strike attack projectiles, removing countdowns first. Um, why am I doing this? I don't know. A, fun, and B, we're going to make it work for us. Miles helps make red, purple, and blue AP for matching webs, okay? We're gonna make sure we got webs out there uh, by getting out yellow, blue, black. Miguel, he puts out like three webs anytime you match a yellow, a blue, or a black. So we're gonna have plenty of web options. We're gonna try to get that purple up. We're gonna try to use this often. Since he makes um, purple, since Miles helps makes purple and blue, we can use both of his abilities you know, to our best. So that's the plan. It's just fun. Let's give it a shot. And for this, let's try to turn on the the, uh, the animations. How often do we use Spider Ham like this? Not often. That's the answer. Not often. <sighs> so we need to make matches like this. Um, is that purple going to really help us? Yeah, probably. The ham wants it. So, let's go for it. Stun all enemy minions for two turns. But, I mean, we removed the four enemy countdown, so I guess maybe we should wait for them to get a couple things out there. So, yeah, that'd probably be smart. Fun fact, um, if Spider-Ham has a purple stun and Miles has a red stun 
and Miguel has a blue stun. And we're producing red, purple, and blue when we're making matches with webs. Theoretically, <laughs> the enemy shouldn't be able to move much, should they? Just making webs. Making it easy to make AP when we want it. Um, let's get rid of some of this team up stuff. There we go. It's blocking the way for more colored tiles that we need. Not to mention it was a nice setup for a match five. Oh, there's four enemy countdowns on the. Well, nope, now there's three. I was going to use it. I think he likes jumping like that. Anyone else think that? Okay, one more. Up oh, two. Oh, two more. Ooh. Okay. So we throw out the talking pig. What? 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 There we go. And of course, the one with one turn left is the one that's left. Funny. Whatever. When they come out of stun, I'll just you know get rid of it. In the meantime. When pigs fly, creates a three-turn fortified clue countdown, which does... Hmm. Oh, there's a problem with that. Nah, there's not. I have an idea. So, it does a fortified blue countdown, deals damage to a random enemy, and continues to take down while Spider-Ham is airborne or stunned. Um, while this tile's on the board, Spider-Ham is airborne. I'm trying to think if there's some way to abuse that for like people that have airborne like things, like Throg that says when someone comes down from being airborne, he destroys their charge tiles or stuff like that. I don't think it's worth it for 12 blue though. It costs one fewer AP for each member of the Sinister Six on the enemy team. These things don't happen often. Anyways. Okay. So I'm just going to make some more webs while it's out there. And then I'm gonna do this and get all those webs. Yum, 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 yum. Now they're unstunned, but this guy is still a problem. We have all this red. I might as well just blast him in the face. Um, and we will <clears throat> do this. You might wonder why I didn't stun everybody. You'll see. Because now I have a good use of this purple again. Boop, boop, boop. Because he made more countdowns. Made him waste AP. That's really it. We should just fly some more. We should probably make more webs. There we go. Now, should I save my purple? Maybe. So it's a bit of a slow team, but I was just figuring we could find a use for Spider-Ham with all these goons. It could be fun. It's working, if it is slow. In the meantime, we can use his Uprising, because those webs aren't doing much else right now. Right? Let's go with some more red matches. There we go. Okay, so they're still out there, but there's no countdowns that are really going to bug us. So we're just going to deal with it for the moment. Take some more black. Pigs are flying. Thug is down. More uprising because it's fun. I guess this pig can fly some more. Why not? More webs. Look at that. Uh, more webs. More webs. Mm, do I do it? Nah. Try to let them build the countdowns to make the next uh, when a talking pig comes around, you know? There you go, we got five countdowns to get on the board. 
Pigs are flying. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> flying pig gets him every time. Um, let's get some more webs out there. I mean, I guess I could have used his yellow. I am not really thinking about that, though. Take that. If only to get Uprising quicker, because Uprising does do a good amount of damage. So we just start firing off abilities now? Like, if I do Spider Bite, it makes him take 75% additional damage as long as it's on the board, right? So if I do, like, that, okay? Yummy, yummy, yum, yum, yum. And then I go off and I do, like... Oh, I shouldn't do those right now. That's, like, wasting stuns. Although, I do have, like five casts of this. Do I really care? Although I could just hide and seek. Ooh, that's a good one. Bunch more webs. So look at all the webs. You want to count them with me? I don't. Um, deal 24,000 damage plus an initial 3,200 for each web tile on the board. Let me look at that board again. I mean, it's, it's a lot of webs. It's kind of a lot of webs. Just a few webs are out there. Um, and remember, he's taking 75% additional damage right now. So, surprise! Holy. <laughs> ah, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> okay. It's, sometimes it's just fun to use web teams. There's all kinds of crazy stuff you can do with them. Oh, that's nice. Anyways, so we did that. Let's move on over here. Stateside. Osborne's Dark Avengers are trying to smuggle their remaining unstable ISO-8 into the U.S. We can't let that happen. Uh, yeah, we're not using it again for this. That was fun for most. Let's do the thing from yesterday where we went like this and we went like... Because I still find it to be very fun, in my opinion. Where did... Did I lose him? I lost him. Storm. And she is... Around here. There she is. Okay. I don't know. That would be fun. At a secret shield meeting location. This is it, team. Hammer is trying to smuggle the remaining red ISO-8 back into the States. Intel indicates that the shipment is being escorted by Bullseye, Moonstone, and the Thor clone, Ragnarok. You heard the lady. Assemble a team. Get to the landing site and take control of that shipment. We won't get another chance. Meanwhile, my team is like made up of like super, super people. We don't really need the animations for this now. The spider ham is gone. So, anyways. Um... Should I just take the blue and run with it? I think I should. Man, it's a pretty good use of it. We got three charges on the board. Let's make some more. So that's, yeah, a lot more charges on the board. Um, I guess I could do some stuff. We'll just like, I don't know, make a cascade or something. You know, fun stuff. And we'll just, you know, make a match five because it's there and we like those. Um, should I get rid of the tile anyways? Like that one? Yeah, why not? Energy channeling does that one in. We're just going to hit her with this uh, Field of Thunder. Okay, so do I do this now or later? So it's this, 2,784 damage team up to a max of 22,000 damage per enemy. Um, so if I like go over to him and like, bam. That means he's down to less than 22,000. So then I could just uh, hit the gathering clouds. There we go. Beautiful.
Captain Carter. Interfering with official hammer activities is against the law. The World Security Council will certainly take note of this. You expose yourself to criminal charges up to and including treason. You may be fooling the World Security Council, Osborne. You might even be fooling our government. But you're not fooling S.H.I.E.L.D. and you're not fooling me. Me neither. When I look at you, you know what I see? Do tell. I see the Green Goblin thinking he can hide in plain sight by taking off his costume. Do not call me that! Stark, crude manipulations are beneath you. We are both sophisticated men. We understand how power works. The so-called Green Goblin is not involved in Hammer. I am. Now, the ISO-8. Turn it over and this indiscretion will be overlooked. Very not, Oz. Cap, jump on the ISO-8 container. I can fly us both out of here. I think. Stark! Next time we talk, I'll be serving you an eviction notice. Oof, this thing is heavy. Bullseye, you have failed me. Perhaps I need to recruit a new team who can stand up to Fury and the Avengers. This is just getting started, boss. We'll get back, we'll get the ISO-8 back, and we'll bring you some bodies, too. No, stay here. I've got something special lined up for Fury and his band of rebels. Gather and listen carefully. Continued in the hunt. Fun fact, um, before they got rid of the seven-day events, there were more of these stories that were actually connected. Um... The one where uh, about the Hulk and trying uh, Osborne was trying to recruit the Hulk before the Avengers could. Um, Sentry's Prodigal Son event. Um, of course, there's Enemy of the State starring Wolverine, and it's the whole precursor to the whole uh, Darkness storyline with uh, you know with uh, Punisher, Daredevil, all them. It's um there's a bunch of storylines that prelude this stuff that goes on that if that unfortunately we don't get to see anymore because they kind of deemed seven day events to not be fan favorites. So a lot of the prequel story, so to speak, is uh gone. It's MIA for now. <clears throat> I still say, if you're listening, MPQ devs, uh that <clears throat> all you have to do is run it in two pieces. You know, run Prodigal Son Part 1 and Prodigal Son Part 2. That way you have two parts of the story. You could still keep your uh, your four-day or less prize structure and just split up the boosted characters between one Part 1 of the story and Part 2 of the story. Because I mean, we all know that the part of the problem is you don't want to hand out 500 shards for a 5-star in one fell swoop. That's like handing out a 5-star cover. So, if you split up into two parts, you can boost one five star on one point, or next five star on the other on the other half. That's just my thoughts. Okay, we're on to the essential nodes, it looks like. <sighs> Come on, Blade, let's do this. Hammer troops have been spotted trying to collect red ice away along the west coast of the US, Canada, and Mexico. Yeah, let's get Blade rolling in there. Is there anything fun I could do like in the name of Green AP? <clears throat> or Strike Tiles? Does it even matter about Strike Tiles? If you think about it. Let me see. Green isn't going to help me. Black is fun, but not, not the biggest deal. I mean, really, at the end of the day, we're just making friendly strikes a lot. Well, as long as there's red out there. Hmm. Is there a point to it? Uh, I don't know. Well, one of the people I think of when I think of red AP. <clears throat> excuse me. I really should take another drink, shouldn't I? Where is she at? If you watched any of my Puzzle Gauntlet play, you might know who I'm thinking of. Oh, there she is. Magic. Why red? I know she has red in there, but her purple. 
puts converts two basic tiles on the board to red. So, you know, kind of helps out the whole red thing. Not to mention her red usage is pretty decent. I mean, it's 12 for 13,000 damage. It's not the best return, but remove up to two enemy strike attack protector count on tiles. It actually is pretty darn handy in a pinch. <clears throat> Anyways, especially since she's constantly making red tiles, kind of helps out. Um, who else? Who else for red? Yeah, I'm just looking in four stars. I, I don't know. I'm just having fun. Does that make sense? <clears throat> Ooh, I have an idea. Star Lord. Why Star Lord? This. So when an enemy match makes a um, uses a power, my red, yellow, blue, green, and purple powers are reduced by two. And well, these are goons, right? So they're gonna cast powers often. And that means that um, Magic's purple is reduced by two, her red's reduced by two, um, not to mention other things I can do are reduced by two. So, you know, fun. <clears throat> Let's go for it. Oh, match five. I guess we'll just take that right off the rip. Um, do, 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 do. I need purple, I need red, I need all this stuff. So let's do that. We'll take those. Take some more purple, and now they're going to cast an ability, right? Cool, so now I got my, pa my passives out there. Look, everything's castable now. It doesn't stack the reducing by twos, by the way. But, I mean, when these expire, I get three AP in a random color. So it's still not a bad thing. Good for uh, people, uh, teammates that like countdowns, you know, looking at you, Drax, uh, or uh, Coulson, or you get the point. Anyways, let's go to Limbo. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. We got, what, one, two friendly repeaters out there? I never played countdowns, I mean. So this would do 4,000, 6,000, uh, almost... Almost 8,000 damage for 6 red. Not bad. This would do 13,000 damage for 10 red. Don't know what return is better, but I think I'm going to shoot for this one just because it removes enemy tiles. So, that's the thought. Um, I could do this. If I get enough black, I can also steal AP, which is always fun. Well, see, look at how the red just automatically makes a couple matches. Very fun. So now, we just end this dude's life. Whoop. And get rid of some tiles while we're at it. Get some more purple, some more red. Another countdown. Oops. Another countdown. Just getting random AP. Um, so now that we have like, I don't know what, how many strikes are out here? One, two, three, four. I could probably use this and get a decent size attack tile as well. It's not a bad thought, right? Or I could do this and just trade out these, uh, countdowns. Two of the enemy possessions with three turn countdowns. Um, they're not that big of a deal, but it's three of them, and I have exactly three enemy things to play with. Oh, it's two of them for three turns. I forgot. I'm sorry. So, still fun. So now I have, what, what one, two, three, four, four countdowns out there? So now if I did this, like, first off, we'll do the Night Stalker. So now we're going to be gaining yellow every turn, which isn't going to help us, but whatever. So now I punch him in the face for boosted damage. 12,000 for six red? I mean, that's a steal. You know it and I know it. I can match this red. I guess I'm getting rid of some strikes, but I get six red out of it, you know? It's a beautiful thing. I gained a countdown and now I'm losing a countdown due to one expiring. 
which means I still have I've got a lot of countdowns out there. What? One, two, three, four, counting four of them. Still good. 12,000. And I guess we have enough still, right? So ruler of limbo to make reds, so blade can make more strikes, so that we can do oldest tricks in the book, so that we can do sliced sorcery, so yeah, fun stuff all around. Okay. Um, that wasn't that was because basically we had to use blade. It's not like that though to go to team. It's not a team I'm constantly thinking of. But you know, if forced to use blade, I was thinking of things I could do to have fun with it. So, anyways, thank you, thank you. I'll take that. Yes. What's next? What's next? This one? Oh, that's kind of kind of like to go four star. There it is, She Hulk. Hammer has assumed control over customs in the Panama Canal. They're using it as a cover to collect red ISO eight shipments. It's so much nicer when they use they mention a different area. <clears throat> just a little less dry, just a hair. <sighs> she Hulk and the Protectile Fun. Hmm. I have an idea. I don't know if it'll work, but I like to try. Wasp. Why wasp? Tactical intuition, that's why. Converts all friendly strike tiles to protect tiles and vice versa, strengthening them by 194. I could boost it up if I want, but I really like her blue because it steals and does damage. And I really like her black because it does damage and stuns. So I'm going to leave those the way it is. Um, let's see, another protect tile slash strike tile abuser. Um, let's get the five stars out of there. I don't want the colors though. Doop, doop, doop. I mean, I guess I could put Falcon in here, which is weird to think of that a three star Falcon. But I mean, I'd use, I'd match the yellow and boost things even more. I wonder if that's enough. I mean, these both of these blue powers too and passive would just sit there and boost each other. Well, why not? Let's give it a shot. What do we got to lose? So this thing ain't going to do much. I can't create any protectiles with it if the enemy's not, uh, if I'm not going to get any damage incoming. And since they're goons, they're not going to damage me for uh, plenty of turns. So, yeah. We're just going to do this. So now we have enough blue to start stealing. Um, let's start taking some yellow. No, I don't want that one. Well, fine, I'll take this one then. Okay. So now I can literally make one strike and one protectile of 194. Okay, it starts, give me those purples while we're there, let's boost them. Okay, this literally is going to do us nothing. It drinks that countdown tile which makes protects, which, you know, if they're going to do damage, sweet, but they're not because they're goons. So we're just gonna leave that be. Um, I'll take some more black because then I can stun somebody. Like, who's got that countdown out there? You do, so you'll get a stun. Oh, if I have at least eight blue, do I have eight blue? Yeah, I have 12 blue, so yes. Boop, you're stunned. And we'll just start keep working on him too, because, well, reasons. Um, we'll do that just to take the AP. Oop. 
we do here? Damages. That's right. Oh, it destroys projectiles, but we don't we don't want to destroy them yet. We have plans for them. Yes, it's long-winded plans, but I mean, I'm trying to get there. You're bearing with me, right? I was hoping to have enough purple by now, but my uh Oh no, I got rid of my fun tiles. You jerks. <sighs> Not cool, game. Not cool. Okay, tactical intuition. Lame. I could yeet someone right now. That might be worth it. Um, I think it is worth it. There we go. Should I, Maybe I should have waited for more red AP. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I mean, last time it surprised me with what it did, but... Well, maybe I will cast the blue. Stealth attack is suddenly striking all targets for damage. <sighs> oh well, let's beef up. Incoming. We'll put it over here. Um, and I'll take this purple. This will help us a lot. <clears throat> Heroic defenses came on in. Good. Okay. And then we can do some bird strikes. Boop. That's a lot of defense out there. Ooh, buzzing sound. They don't have any yellow to steal, so I'll just make this myself. You guys see where this is going, right? There's a lot of protects out there. Okay. Should I do this first? Dealing damage, sending a target flying through any unfortunate wall for every projectile on the board. Three destroy those to four fifty three damage. Damage per tile. Is that worth doing that now? I mean I guess so. I guess we'll do that for now. See what happens. We'll do it like over here. There's a reason. Don't worry. I don't know if I should have done that or not. Oh, there's more I can do. Well, maybe this will work. I feel like I shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, let's do this now. Let's see what happens. Swap them up. Oh, no. 5,554 strikes. Fun stuff. In my humble opinion. Um... So, like, if I go over here, who's got the tile? You do. So, if I just do this, <clears throat> you won't have that tile anymore. Who's got that one? Uh, who are you? Oh, this one, 13k. Okay. So, let's do the damages. Because that destroys that one. And the extra strike damage will pull, pour in. And then we could go with... Finish him. Beautiful. That worked out. A little slow to start, but it got there. Okay. Then we move on over to Kamala Khan, the five-star... Hammer has been spotted moving red ice away via boat in the Gulf of Mexico. Didn't we read that one earlier? Same exact line. Remember, I was like kayak, canoe, raft, yacht, <laughs> barge. Hey, Dark. How's it going, man? Uh, just doing the whole story thing here, Dark. Good to see you on, man. We got a couple nodes left to run through, but been running this PVE thing on camera here the last few days. On stream, I guess I should say. Kamala is way too much fun, dude. Um My only problem with her is trying to figure out who I want to abuse her with next. Obviously Beta Ray and Polaris are like shoe-ins, but I don't know, I'm trying not to go back to that well all the darn time. Um I'll try a different well. Let's see if I could go with... Let's try this well. 
Because his green destroys a bunch of random stuff. And that could be fun too. And then... Like, what if I went with... It only happens when I destroy friendly tiles, right? So... Null makes friendly strikes, he makes friendly attacks. This could be fun, maybe, potentially, maybe. And that's exactly what I've been running in my challenge notes. Can't play fair when the game cheats every chance it gets. <laughs> You're too true, Dark, too true. But, I don't know, if you've gotten to catch any of the last few videos, I've been just playing around with weird teams, just, I don't know. So many different characters we have now. It's a, a mind-boggling amount. And, you know, sometimes it's fun just to kind of kick back and play with all the toys. So, this is one of those cases when I kind of want to let my own, this tile be. Well, I guess, no, because I'll make my own tiles based on this. And making my own tiles is where she's going to have fun, right? I'm kind of banking on the fact that goons are going to fire powers more often. So, I'll get the AP to fire off stuff. Okay, this should be a good turning point right here. Good free move, team damage, more stuff. Okay, I could fire this off right now if I have at least four more special tiles, which I do, do an additional damage to the enemy team. Um, sure, boop, okay. Then I can hit. Ah, it doesn't matter if I hit that or not, does it? I'll just get rid of that to get rid of the countdown, I guess. I kind of want them to keep four enemy tiles out there so Noel gets the extra match, you know? Extra matches are fun. Okay, so now I can put out the I'm a superhero thing. It's a bunch of extra free friendly tiles out there on the board. And then I can match, do this red-eyed monster thing. I'm sorry, what was that, Dark? Though I will admit to having fun with Champ, to, uh, BB, Mighty Thor, and either Half Thor or Storm. Try using Throg the Third, but Jane keeps popping his repeater as soon as he makes... Yeah, um, it's true. But, um, yeah, I was running BB, Mighty Thor, and Storm as well, and it's... Honestly, one of the more fun, unique teams I've been playing with lately in PvE. Um, is it as quick as some of the others? Not necessarily, but it's it's still efficient. It still gets the job done. There's still no worries, and it's a whole different feel of the game. You don't get a feel like that with a lot of the other teams. So, here we go. Red-Eyed Monsters. And it just replaces them because Carnage says so. That's fun. Um, so I could do like this. I destroyed a couple of friendly tiles and Carnage is going to put them right back on the board. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Carnage just makes more friendly tiles. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't think about Carnage and Kamala Khan's interactions until now, but that's kind of fun. <laughs> like, oh god, let's destroy friendly tiles, and we'll re at war enemy tiles, and I'll replace them with more friendly tiles, and Kamala's just dealing damage just because she can. That's fun. I wonder if that's a low-key another way of doing it instead of like. I know, I know you're not making AP like Beta Ray does, but you are making tiles on the board quite often. Hmm. I don't know. Another like alternate way of doing things. 
Okay, let's move on over here. Oh, that's right, more goons for the challenge node. Hammer has been spotted moving red isolate via boat in the Gulf of Mexico. Jeez, get a new line. <laughs> okay. I mean, I could technically try this again, but I, I, I don't think that's smart to do. I almost wonder, like, if... It's a neat idea. If I fall easily into the habit of using Polaris or friendly tile matching, but Carnage could be fun with KK. Yeah, because just because of this whole red-eyed monster thing. When you match or destroy a strike attack or projectile, it create one strength 245 friendly attack tile. You just recreate them. I'm like wondering if there's something different I could do with that. Like, okay, no, it was fun to get the strikes out there and get the team damage. I just wanted to kind of get an extra set of tiles out there early. But now that I'm thinking about it more, I wonder if I can do more chaos with that. Like, putting Polaris in, I think, would be overkill because the the screen will be filled up before you know it. Um, I'm not sure what else I could do about it. I feel like there's someone else I could use for like attack tiles, but like, I don't know, some sort of something on the cheap. I mean, would it be weird to say three-star Dakok? Because he makes enemy attack tiles. And I'd be making two more by matching them. If I make two more by matching them along with the others... I mean, it doesn't really guarantee me the green to have Carnage go crazy, though. Although... No. I mean, if I have enough enemy tiles... I could get use his blue. Uh, it's probably too much then. Because his blue costs a lot. I'm not really... Well, she is making blue. Uh, I don't know if it's enough. I guess we don't know until we try, right? Blue, green, black. So, right there. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. We need his green, we need his blue, <clears throat> and his black. And Kamala Khan, you just do what you do. What's that, Dark? Medusa and CD are the only cheap attack tile makers that come to mind without relying on matching enemy tiles for, for Ock. Yeah, that's true. Um, Cloak and Dagger don't really use any colors that we're going to make use of, though. Yeah, I can't really think of them. Their mechanics help me out anymore besides that. At least Doc Ox um, Blue would, would be fun with it. And then, excuse me. And then, um, what was the other one? Medusa? I mean, Medusa would keep the healing up if I even need the healing. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Why not? What do we got to lose? The match? Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to take the cheap and easy uh, match five setup here. Oh, or you'll just give me AP. That's cool. Good talk. Um, we will go with that. Because that makes one more. That makes two more. Now I got three friendly tiles out there already. She's making me some AP. And I'll take that. Because I'm going to... Red eyed, red eye, insult to injury. It's the fact that they're goons that Kamala's making me the AP right now. This wouldn't work without her doing this. There's definitely enough enemies out there, so I could do this safely to get the whole effect of it. Um. 
Um, I can make some free blue AP, which cascades into to the enemy tiles and fun stuff. <laughs> the embiggened thing just keeps hitting. I got plenty of attack tiles right now, which is cool. Okay, so does this thing only do damage with attack, strike, and protect tiles? Okay. There's only a couple things out there, but the shuffle would potentially lead to more, you know, more stuff. So let's throw out the protect tiles. And let's go for it. It did hit it. I saw it hit that attack tile. Uh, I didn't really do much more, though. A little bit of a shame. It's okay. Let's do this just to get the green. I want to guarantee that next turn I get to do Carnage's green for fun. That works. I'm gonna make more more protects. There we go. And yeah, that's a lot of tiles. So we'll just do this thing right here. Destroy seven random tiles. <clears throat> Boop. There's almost no reason not to use commas, really. I'm like looking at the difference. There isn't much. It'd be, it would do more if I was using four star carnage as green because it does damage per special tile hit. Um, but then it doesn't recreate tiles. So I think combos green is where I should be. I'm going wrong here. I should use this because it destroys a three by three, which is effectively nine tiles. And the other one's only getting me like seven. So yeah, it's so her green is just much better than Carnage's <laughs> in that case. But Carnage has a built-in passive of making more tiles, so you get what you get. Um, <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> okay. So. It deals damage to enemy team. Although I can just switch to him. Boop. That worked rather well. Okay. Should I do two more hits of it? Probably can. Not gonna hurt none. I don't think there's anything else I could... I don't know if I want to use this team right now, though. Let's, um... Let's go back to this. We'll do the Black Bulb, but we'll do with, um... Wait, was it... Let me do something different. I'm sorry. Let me, let me switch gears. I'm not going to use Black Bolt. I know he's boosted. I know that's fun, but... I want to do this thing that I found recently. Storm. Um... Mighty Thor, and then let's go pull out this relic. Um, yellow, red, green. Yep, Negasonic. It's kind of fun. Um, it, I'm just saying, it's kind of fun. <clears throat> oh, well, I'll just take the match five. Uh, thank you for being so gracious. I'll just take all that black right now. That's cool. I don't think I'm going to use it right off the rip, but you know, it's there. It's tempting. I'll take some yellow. Negasonic with Mighty Thor is pretty fun. Just more board shake. Like, like as if there wasn't enough board shake. Let's just add on more board shake. 
Um, fight deal, do a do a damage, okay, six turn countdown tile. I feel like it's doable. It just gets me more charges on the board, which is fun. Ah, uh, you had to put it over there. It's okay. We'll get to it. Let's see if I could do like. I want to bring it some blacks down there. There we go. It's closer. Let's board shake it up. Okay. Um. Take that. Oh, it's right there, right there, right there. Yes, yes. More random charge tiles. Good stuff. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Who's got that one? You do. Okay. So we'll hit this. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> board shake. Um, board shake. And board shake. <clears throat> um, board shake. <laughs> Do that. More board shake. More shake with those fries. More shaky. Shaky my shaker stein. Um <clears throat> forget what her red does. It just does damage, right? It doesn't really do anything more. Just converts two random base tiles to charge tiles, but it's nine. It's not worth it. This is better. I mean, obviously it's five stars, so it's better, but you know, you get the point. Um, let's throw these out here now, just get more charge tiles out there. Oh, and I could just, yeah, that's going to go, because I'm just going to hit this red, and then it's going to destroy it. <laughs> Board shaky? Board shaky. I even got to do the thing I like to do with this yet. Okay. This should do. More board shakes. <laughs> ah, it's so good. Okay, so go on over here. Hit the share the love. For each charge tile, it destroys all charge tiles on the board. For each charge tile destroyed, she deals damage to, the enemy, to a random enemy. Then convert three random basic tiles to charge tiles. Okay? So, you know what Negasonic does, right? I mean, can you blame me? You see this, right? <laughs> I found this and I was just like, okay, Negasonic, you finally earned your way back into good graces. So then I can go ahead and hit blue to make more charge tiles. And then I can hit red to make more charge tiles. And, oh, I didn't have the green yet. Oh, that's a shame. That's okay. I'll do it anyways. Hit that green right there. And then I could do this thing again. It's more sharing the love. So now I got a bunch more charge cells out there thanks to Negasonic. <laughs> so, yeah. I find those three to be really fun together. Because not only can you do this with, you know, Thor, Mighty Thor and her yellow, 
But if you don't have enough yellow and you really just want a stopgap option at it, Five Star Storm's Black does a similar thing. It's not nearly as damaging, but it still destroys all the charge tiles. You still get team damage of 22k per person, at least at my level. And you still get Negasonic going crazy. Fun options. Anyone else? Anyone else? Um... <sighs> Something else come out. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know if there's much else to play with here. There's probably plenty more. I'm just not thinking straight. I kind of want to do this right now. Yeah, I, pu I pulled out a Heimdall. It's weird, I know. Hmm. I wonder if I should do this captain right now instead. If I do him and bring out Valkyrie and do that whole trick, you know, that might be fun, right? That could work. Um... Question is, who would I use for my third, my next person to accompany him? Just as a curious thing here. Fun stuff, fun stuff, things, things, stuff. Um, another team cat member, maybe? We can try it. Why not? Let's go back to this well, see if this works. Well, I mean, it does work, but like, who could we use as another team cat member that would really like take advantage of this? I mean, I know it's not War Machine, right? <laughs> um, team cat member that would take advantage of this whole deal. Well, I guess I could stall him with Peggy, right? Team cap, obviously. So, yeah. This could stall for time. Maybe give us more time to work on this stuff. Let's go for it. What's that? Yeah, if you get a good board set up, the board shake is just ridiculous. By the way, don't mind me being quiet, trying to finish my run tonight before it gets too late. Hey, I hear you here. This is my last match of this. And then when I log off of the stream, I'll be doing my finishing up my run. Because I've got to do three hits of every node. And I only did the one of most of them. Lieutenant in the back, huh? So this guy right here, is that who you're pointing to? It is. Okay, so we need to hit you for some damage. Let's go with like... We'll do that, and that. But yeah, I don't know. It's fun, Dark. I, I like I like the idea of finding a use for Negasonic. Finally, she was very underwhelming when she came out. I had high hopes, not because I like Negasonic or anything, but just I like charge tile people, and she was very underwhelming. Now I feel like she has a home. She's like a stopgap replacement for um. Charge tile people, as long as Mighty Thor is involved. Then again, that's kind of almost not fair. Mighty Thor makes every charge tile person look more useful, so. <laughs> Lieutenant in the middle. So you. That wasn't enough da What? There's still enough damage. Sir, I need you to be damaged enough. Thank you. It's ridiculous. Okay, who are you going on? Lieutenant in the back. That should do it. Okay. So, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, which this time we're doing damage to the enemy team, extra damage to the target, two strength blah attack tiles, two strength blah protect tiles, and stun a random enemy for two turns. It's kind of like a different version of Nick Fury's thing. Um, I honestly think I like Nick Fury's better, though, because it creates crit tiles. So, if you have to use it, you know, if you have to go between the two, Nick Fury requires a five star to be with them of yellow strength to make it work with Valkyrie. Uh, Cap doesn't need that, so he can do it on his own, put in your own four star or five star person for fun. But I will admit, it's just a little, takes a little extra, it's, it's not as much fun because Nick Fury has crit tiles and can really get the job done quicker in that regard. Lieutenant in the middle. You. 
Um, I still don't have some. Maybe I can use a thing. Um, I'll I'll save that. Sir, you need to be damaged. <laughs> you need to go away now. I want to get this in set just for the purple matching. There, we got enough yellow. Spy, huh? So you. Boop. <clears throat> um, should I just do this now? I probably should. Get it while it's good, right? And who are you on now, spy? Let's move that on down so we can match that countdown out of the way. And that one too, why not? She's about to have, to have Valkyrie up front for, but she's not in any danger, so. So yeah, just so you can see the difference between Nick Fury's yellow and Five Star Cap's yellow, I think Fury's is definitely better. Lieutenant in the middle. You're taking that, sir. But yeah, if you couldn't tell, I'm also handling it where like no one's having a chance of anything. Lieutenant in the front, uh, you're going to take that. I mean, between Peggy increasing their costs and Cap stunning people a lot, it's pretty, pretty easy. All in all, said, all said and done, you know. No, that's not the one I wanted. I want this thing, spy, huh? We'll just hit you with this. And what's your blue do again, sir? Da -da 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 target for every friendly strike, protect. And a tactile on the board to maximum eight. Deal additional damage. And destroy one enemy AP in a random color. That's cool. We got plenty of friendly tiles, so this will work. But let's wait till we have a bounty hunter out there, okay? We kind of don't want to waste the opportunity at a free bounty hunter hit, you know? So now that that's out there, Lieutenant in the back. This guy? The one that's stunned? He's your bounty, huh? Boop. So I got the... So now I have enough to do this Earth, but I'm going to, once again, why waste the opportunity at a free bounty hunter kill? Or hit, or whatever. So. So there we go, Lieutenant in the front, which is this guy still. Game does not like you, sir. Um... I don't know what to match here. I don't have a lot of good matches. None of them are like Caps colors, you know? Let's do this, I guess. Get some Cascade in there. It's a little bit of one. Who are you? Lieutenant in the front. Poor him. Does he deserve it? Has he been that bad? <laughs> a lot of attack tiles out there. Okay. Lieutenant in the front. Um, we'll just do this again because stunning is fun. And we can get rid of these countdowns. Lieutenant in the front. Um, we'll hit with a shield badge. Hit the target for 7k. Transform a random basic red to a red 2 turn kind of that generates 7 AP in his team's strongest color. Yellow! For each other member of team cap on his team, that AP generated is increased by 2. So, yeah. <laughs> More yellow AP! Woohoo! Um, and speaking of yellow, we'll just take some more. I'm sure Coldplay would approve. I'm sorry, DD, uh, Dark Side. I just missed a few messages. I was that I feel like the game makes most characters look dangerous when you take on level 600 teams. Nega with BB and Four Jane was a problem when I had to take them on. Yeah, yeah, she can be. Um, so the potential was there. It just needs the right team to bring it out. Yeah, 
you're right. You're right. She is definitely a support character amongst charge characters, though. Um, not as good of a support character like Throg is, but still, she's a support character. Lieutenant in the front. I guess I could have just used that right off the rip, but I saw a match five. Couldn't help myself. What do we got around here? Lethal Recon. That's cute. I have a 19 team up on me, and I have the team up to do it. I mean, why wouldn't I? There we go. Let's match more yellow. <clears throat> I need to use Earth's Mightiest Heroes multiple turns in a row for free. Bounty Hunter, Lieutenant in the back. So you. Boop. Okay. I don't think I have enough attack tiles. For uh, for not having Carnage or Medusa out there, I have plenty of attack tiles. Lieutenant in the middle. Let's do this again. Boop. Aw, oh, it stunned the same person? Or maybe it stunned the person it was killing. I might have done that. Hard to say. Um, well, wait till next turn. Spy. It's done the same. It's done the same person. That's a shame that I could just randomly do that. Could hit this blue. Meh. Meh. I say. Spy. Okay. Boop. There you go. Another both stunned. Yay! Objective complete. Okay, um... Just hit this. Yeah, I just wish Jane would learn to play well with others. Still feel her and Thrall would be a great combo, but she's indiscriminate with her shake. Because otherwise, he's the best charge support she could have had. Yeah, I mean... On one hand, you know that they made that purposely to disrupt, like, your own team stuff. But at the same time... It also like enables Polaris to the highest degree. So it's like, like I think they wanted to do that, but at the same time, I don't know if they, do you think they realized how big of a deal that is? Like Polaris with, with um, Mighty Thor? I don't know. I mean, could you, could you imagine that they're sitting there like, yeah, that sounds, that sounds reasonable. <laughs> Like, do you think the developers are really thinking, like, hmm, that sounds really fair. <laughs> it's hard to say. If they didn't, I feel either Polaris or Jane are getting a nerf soon. Yeah, you might not be wrong. I mean, we saw five-star Marvel get that stupid nerf where she can't, um destroy friendly tiles now you know like she used to all because people found an abusive thing with uh polaris and beta ray bill i mean we all assume that's what it was because but then again everyone just turned around started using easier options four star and under options so it's like what was that really all about you know what were you thinking you were stopping there <clears throat> So, don't know. If they stop, what are they going to do? Stop it from destroying friendly strike attack projectiles, but could destroy countdowns still? If it destroys countdowns, repeaters, and whatnot, then Throg is still, like, left out. Poor dude. Lieutenant in the front. Could just do that and, like, punch him out. So, well, it wouldn't kill him. No, it wouldn't. So never mind. I won't do that. It's not fun enough. That did the damage. I mean, let's end it with the shield bash, though, because <laughs> that didn't do enough damage. This will. <laughs> Probably Polaris, since everyone uses or fears her in Four Star Land. You think they would nerf her? I don't know. I feel like she's still the glass cannon. Like... 
Whereas Mighty Thor doesn't have that sort of fear. Mighty Thor has the hit points, has the match damage, has the passives that enable that. She's a pretty solid kit. Um, Polaris has great abilities, but you can smack Polaris in the face once or twice and she'll go down and won't get back up. That's, I mean, I think that's been the, the argument for Polaris every time is that when you see her on the defense, you just target her and she's gone within seconds. I feel like in terms of best yellow users, Cap is still nice, but Fury is best because two other members can make the one of those. Yeah, of course. I, I was saying that. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know if you heard, but yeah, I was saying that in that whole match. Like, because I did it earlier. I want to say... Psh, one of these regular nodes back here, you know, government raiders. I don't know. One of these other nodes I um, was running the same team, but with Fury, Valkyrie, and um, who was my yellow user? I think it was, yeah, it was Kamala Khan because she's boosted. She's yellow strong. So I used them. And Fury is just ridiculous with it because he makes the crits. Um, it just the effects you get out of his yellow are better than five star caps yellow. And it's kind of weird in that regard. It's kind of like, Four star versus five star wasp weird. <laughs> Anyways, we got all the nodes. We hit them all at least once, if not three times for the challenge node, just to play around with goons because we can. That is the Americas for unstable ISO 8. Shield clearance level 10. And we are done with unstable ISO 8 in its unfortunately short current run still harken back to the days of the big stories oh well is that dark cap is better defense plus his attack tiles but fury gets more overall damage on a single person he does and uh i don't think his stun um uh misses as much i, I say miss because you saw it there multiple times in that fight or at least or at least it was shown um, where it's stunned the same guy over and over again a couple times. But, um, no, it, uh, I don't think Furies does that. I think Furies shares love. If you're able to stun once, then the next turn do it again, um, I think it hits a different person every time. I could be wrong, but I don't remember Fury having that problem. Unless I've just been that lucky. Wish they bring a seven-day Hulk and Wolverine events. I wish they bring back all the seven-day events. Seven Day Hulk, Wolf, uh, let's say, uh, was it Enemy of the State, The Hulk, Prodigal Son. Um, I, I'm pretty darn sure Unstable ISO 8 was, had a seven day version at one point. Um, if not, there was another one. And that Enemy of the State one, um, that 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 would the it, all those were like precursor stories to things we see in the game now and there was more i want to say there was like one or two more but um i remember the uh enemy of the state leading into that hearts of darkness and then afterwards you had that cho storyline the amadeus cho i'm totally amazing or totally awesome hulk storyline where he goes to uh, mephisto by himself and says, yeah, this isn't so hard. And goes on in there like a lone soldier. And I always thought that was fun too. Because it took a grim, gritty storyline. And then it kind of flipped it on its heels. Made it slightly funny. Slightly a little more, you know, um, loose. And um, gave Cho a little bit of a spotlight. and But still, you know, allowed uh, Mephisto to show his teeth again. What's that dark? I get people that hate long PVs because it takes too long versus quick PVs that give rewards faster. Right. Uh, okay. But for people like me who got into the game with the Hulk event and events from the story order, they were the shit. Yeah, they were. Um, and I was stating here earlier, um, if the devs are listening, um, <clears throat> that uh, one of the key things that they think they could do is just split it. If you have like Prodigal Son Part 1 and then you run three days, right? And then Prodigal Son Part 2 and run four days. But have them split the reward structure. So like, you know. Did they only run that show event just that once? I, I want to say they run it at least twice. I feel like they ran it twice. I could be wrong, but 
I, I don't remember playing it just once, but who knows? Maybe I just liked it that much. Who knows? But no, if you split the seven day events into a three day and a four day, and then just, you know, it, it's still the same story, but you just reset it again. It's just, you're joining a different story, but it's part two of it. And that way you can split the rewards and have everyone keep, get what you're saying. You get your rewards faster on, on other events but uh and in that way mpq doesn't have to give out 500 five star shards of one character they can still keep their structure of 250 five star shards at a time but it's my thoughts i don't run the game i just play it for almost nine years straight according to the in-game counter but we all know that's been longer <laughs> so anyways it's late I've almost got a two hour stream here. It's been an hour and 51 minutes and counting on Twitch. It's kind of ridiculous. I remember people, what was that? I remember people whining over that three Hulk marathon, but I don't remember doing it twice. I don't know, man. I can't say. There's probably something in the forums, archived it away somewhere. People store everything on there. I could look if it was worth it. I don't think it's worth it because I don't know if we'll ever see it again. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> okay. I gotta get out. I gotta get going. I gotta go to bed and run the rest of these nodes. So I will see you all later. And Dark, don't forget, I think we got a boss event tomorrow, man. So, I mean, if you look, you know, no boss. I mean, no PvE, I mean. So, yeah, I mean, well, yeah. You see it, right? There's no PvE. They would show us the next PvE by now. I, I can't tell you what the boss is. I didn't research it. I didn't look it up. But whenever there's a boss, they would have sh they would have shown us the PvE by now. Um, if they're, you know, you know what I'm saying, right? Because they're not showing us the PvE, it's a boss. <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice. <laughs> Anyways, so I will see you on tomorrow. Wouldn't the boss counter be there for tomorrow? That's a decent point. I don't I don't remember the boss counter showing up this early though. I think the boss counter usually shows up at like Well, at midnight. Well, midnight might, you know, Eastern time. Um, or like maybe three in the morning, something like that. I don't think it shows up at the same time. Uh, because bosses start at noon that day as opposed to PvEs. So, and we'll see. Just, uh, oops, clicky. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow on there, and uh, let's, let's get the boss, if it is a boss. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining in, Dark, DC, everyone else. Thanks. Later. <laughs>